Sergey Bobrovsky gets the start for SKA as they visit Chekhov to play Vitas. Rough start for Bob as Alexei Budyakov shoots it on net and it gets deflected on its way in. 1-0 home team. That's Budyakov's force of the season. Less than three minutes later, Vitas strikes again. This time it's Slava Kulemin who sets up Ryan Fahey behind the net and it's 2-0. Good job by number 69 for Vitas, Nikita Dvorechensky, helping to create some room for Fahey with his body. He had an assist on the first goal too. SK gets one back before the intermission. Alexei Semenov puts it on net, rebound, the puck hits Maxim Afinaganov and goes in 2-1. The refs went upstairs to review the play and made the right call. There was no kick in motion. Less than nine minutes left in regulation now. Maxim Chudinov has the puck behind the net, feeds Tony Mortensen, and ties us at twos. It's amazing that Mortensen was left completely unmarked on the play, and it's five on five, too. Nine minutes of the third, Vitas has the puck, and Yakov Selevznyov shoots it from the blue line, and Patrick Torsen blocks it with his head. No goal. His sacrifice was key, though, as the play goes the other way, and let's see how much Russian you understand. <laughs> И Ковальчук попадает в дальнюю девятку за 42 секунды до сирены. 44 seconds on the clock. Ilya Kovalchuk has a chance to score a decisive goal and he does as he puts a top shelf far side. That's exactly what I thought he said. Great stuff. SK wins a thriller 3-2 final.